Look how slow it is. Like, doesn't even care that I'm here. It's like, yeah, whatever. I'm a loggerhead turtle. I don't give a damn. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, what, what is this tilt? What's going on? Oh, this is, oh, this is disconcerting. If you like it, support the channel. You can do it right now by hitting like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to share by using the share button and picking your friends and favorite social media. And leave me a comment. You're awesome. Thank you. Hello, people, and welcome back to the Zentime channel. Now, we've got a new game here, and that is Escape the Pacific. And the reason, one of the reasons for this is one of my fans, Hey, has repeatedly requested to have something a little more sunny and tropical. Well, that's definitely a game that falls into that category, because in this game we find ourselves stranded in an island in the Pacific. And yeah, it's definitely pretty tropical. Another reason why I'm starting this is because a new update has just come in yesterday. And uh, with the new update, a new bunch of new things have come in that have improved things, and I'm really keen to play this once again. So let's get started and dive in. Literally. Literally diving right into the water. This is how it all begins. Keyboard... Yeah, I think I still do remember the keyboard shortcuts. Thank you. Now, it's been a while, but uh, I think I will still know how to do this. Let's just uh, quickly check here. Oh, there's a turtle. Well, I don't have any tools yet, so I can't even... I can't even kill a turtle. I can't even pick up this damn slow little turtle. Look how slow it is. Like, doesn't even care that I'm here. It's like, yeah, whatever. I'm a loggerhead turtle. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is the game for you. All right. Uh, the thing is, this is actually not a bad game at all. There is, um, like, a lot of development has gone into it. This is made by a single person as well. And it is, as you can probably tell by the assets on it, it is made in Unity as well. The Unity engine that was also used for The Long Dark. That uh, was the other game I've been covering so far. Uh, there comes the weather. So what I'm actually running around here for is first thing to go and look if I can find any loot crates stranded on the beach anywhere around this island. Usually there is like some loot crate or two stranded on one of these rocks around the island. But it doesn't seem like that is the case today. No, I could not be so lucky. All right. Well, that's fine. And let's just go with... Oh, this is not a big island, is it? This, this island is tiny. Oh my lord, this is a tiny island that I got stranded on here. And that means I'm going to have to go and find one of the other bigger ones and get there as soon as possible. Yeah, I think I'm not going to even spend very much time on this island. I'm just going to craft myself all the basic necessary tools and all that and then craft myself a raft as soon as possible and try to find a stick. A uh, rock. That will do. There's a rock. That's good. And that'll allow me to... Oh, I'll pick out this one up too. And then I'll be able to craft this down into a bunch of tools. First thing, of course, you got to do in any survival situation is craft yourself a bunch of tools. So I'm going to hit this. this. is now a small carving rock. I hit this once, two, three. This becomes now a hammer stone shard. One, two, three. And then hit that again. I'm already exhausted. How is that possible? Oh, I guess that's because I've been running the whole time. So that's now an axe stone shard, and the last one we cut down even further to turn into a knife. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I thought that you getting the strong trade this time would make things a little better with your stamina, but it's still pretty bad. You always gotta go and wait for your stamina to recover. I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. Yes, I know, all right. So we've got three here, and now we can go and uh, start building them if we can actually get some sticks happening. How do I do this? Hammerstone, I think uh, first thing I need to do is go and get an axe going. So there's the, this is the build menu, crafting, and then I need to get a primitive axe. Yep, that's it, that's it. Oh, what? Why is this floating? No, no. Stay there. Okay. So we got an X stone shard. We'll pick this up and we put it there. And then we need a small stick. I think we already have one. No backpack, but there we have the small stick. We put that in our hand. Low body tap. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I, I know. I know I'm freezing, but look, I, let me just get on with this. And now primitive hammer. Oh, I need to do the hammer first, don't I? Right. Okay. Uh, that means having to find another stick. See if I can find a stick. Uh, I'm going to go and pick up any rocks that I can find anyway. All right. Small stick. Come on. How hard can it be to find a small stick? All this, all this brush land and palm tree and things on dense vegetation and you can find a stick just the way I like it. It's not a very bountiful island though to begin with, that, that's for sure. Well, is that a stick there? Yes, we have found a stick. Excellent. We'll pick that up and then we'll go and start crafting that tool, that axe. 
Oh, the, the hammer, that is. Well, did I go around the long way here? I think I did, but I'm gonna go grab this stick too while I'm there. No carry. Oh, this is annoying. No carry storage. Okay, okay. Confusion. The confusion is real. Where did I start crafting these tools? My god, it's this tiny little island, and I don't even know where I am. I barely call this an island. It's just like a little blob of sand in the middle of nowhere. Uh, n now that I'm not looking for sticks anymore, I see sticks everywhere. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we'll go and make the hammers. Hammer? Huh? No, wait, wait. Build hammer. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I, I tell you, I'm gonna get the hang of this again. Bear with me here. So hammer stone shards, and then we we'll put that on there. Small carving rock or small rock? I think I have one. Yes. Use that. Put that in our hand. One, two. Yay! We have a hammer. Excellent. Now we'll pick that up, and now we can go and craft the axe. Hey, hooray. Great. No carry storage, of course. All right, what do we, like, let's go and build the knife too while we're here. Or at least start building it. And what we need for that, a uh, knife stone shard. Put that there. And then another small stick. Oh, where, no, there were small sticks over here. Yeah, grab that. Pick up. Why are you dropping that? No, never mind. And then we got the hammer. Pick it up. It could make things a little bit more visible, but it is what it is. It is still early access. This this game is still very much in early development. And now uh, for the time being, we're just going to have to deal with the limitations. Uh, it is actually a pretty good game. Once you get going, it is pretty good for what it is. Um, it has been improving a lot as well. And uh, I, you know, I'm looking forward to go and see the new updates that did have just come in yesterday. So first thing I'm going to look at is actually getting like a backpack. Three small sticks, two palm fronts. All right, small, uh, not crate, but is it this stick, it's palm front, and that's it. All right, all right. And now it tells me how to craft stuff. Okay, I, I know. All right, thank you. Let's go into this. Pimba! There she goes. All right, that's one down. And uh, we also got yourselves a couple of couple of coconuts here. Oh, oh, I wish it wouldn't drop that. It's just, all right, pick it up. All right, let's do this. I so cannot wait to get my hands in that backpack, I can tell you that much. Really annoying, not being able to store anything at all. But yeah, before you can actually get to the palm fronts here, well, you know, you want to you kind of chop this thing up anyway. Okay, great. Now we got a couple of palm fronts to this. One palm front, one small stick. Let's do it. And then a primitive knife to make it. And he is exhausted again. Come on, David, you can do it. I mean, that's, that was the survivor's name, wasn't it? I think you can only choose between two survivors, David or Gabrielle. All right, now I can finally wear this backpack, and that is a huge help already. And I'll be able to actually, like, pick these things up now and put them into my bag the way they're supposed to be. And then uh, right away, the next thing I'll do is a side bag as well, which just requires a palm front. And that'll just, you know, cover everything as far as just... Oh, what did... No, primitive knife. Hang on. That'll, that'll cover everything as far as uh, storage goes for the time being. So that, that's definitely helpful. Uh, I don't have a tool belt. Uh, I totally forgot about the tool belts. Is that, that's why I keep dropping things as soon as I pick up something else. So that's another thing I'm going to have to make. So how do you make a tool belt again? Crafting... That's it. Ah, one palm front again. All right. Well, we are no shortage of palm fronts here, so let's do this. Round of knife. Did I drop that knife again? Oh, I, I didn't. I, I, I'm pretty sure I stashed this now. Yeah, okay. Tool belt. Let's do it. Amazing animations. Amazing sound. As you can tell, this is a this is a real AAA title. Uh, okay, now we got a tool belt. That's great. So now I can go and put my... Well, I'm actually going to put my axe first. It's going to be the most used item. Um, the primitive knife, I will go with second and then the hammer last. Sort of like the order of, of use, I guess. I'm going to put that to bag. Okay, great. We are, we are finally equipped. We are equipped to survive. Well, almost. We're going to have to go and uh, start building here. It's going to get a lot colder soon and darker. Um, what is our actual condition here? We're still at 100% health. We have a little bit of hunger, thirst, tiredness. Yeah. Um, what is our vitamin C is at 98. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not struggling here right now. Um, it's, uh, I think, just time to go and just 
start building a little get things going so what should we build i actually am inclined to go and start building a raft right away so uh, the basic raft module canoe banana actually no you know what instead of building a raft which is just going to take forever to get us to another place i'm just going to go and build a canoe and that'll be very quick and it'll allow us to get to another island much more quickly and require a lot less resources to build than a raft and just get off this island as soon as possible we need two wood trunks and what else was there a couple of sticks thick branch zero of one all right and we got a thick branch here two of them are back and then we need another wood trunk for which we can just go and lock down one of these palm trees so let's go with this, go with this with the axe once again timber boom yeah, it's got collision detection. It just doesn't seem to crush me on impact. That's uh, very comforting to know. I'm going to pick up these coconuts as well. They're always going to be handy. Now, oh, all right. Thanks for, the, thanks for the coconuts. I'll go on. Keep chopping here. Very tall palm. All right, we got a log. No time to waste a... No time to waste a... Let's go and just build this thing and get off this island, I reckon. And just go and try to find a bigger island as soon as possible. Gosh me, Lord, is it noisy with that thunderstorm? Okay, our very basic little canoe is done. Now we have to go and build ourselves a paddle build. Crafting. Boats. Stick paddle. One long stick and four fire sticks. Okay, that can be done. Definitely can be done. There's a long stick. And then we can chop this down further to fire sticks. Small sticks. Fire sticks. We got three. Oh, we're going to have to chop this one too. I'm going to stash these as well. Might as well. I'm going to always use them later. So let's put these down. One, two, three, four. Got to get the hammer. Okay, we got our stick paddle done. Excellent. Now, am I going to maybe take this wood trunk as well? Just take some things with me before I go on the journey. Might as well. Meanwhile, it's sitting there. Come on. Come on. You have to chop them down to small sticks first. That's the, the largest thing that you can actually put into your bag. I'm going to go and pick up anything I can find along the way first here. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even seem like anything is stranded on this island. There's not even a survivor loot crate or anything, apparently. So there's no point hanging around here. And it's just such a small island. Grab to bag to bag this stamina thing though always waiting always waiting i'm exhausted i'm exhausted i'm exhausted <laughs> all right well i don't know the thing is this game actually has tides so while at first i may have missed one of those loot crates there may actually be one stranded somewhere now is that one is that one over there and those seagulls man you can go and steal their eggs, but I tell you what, they are aggressive and they will just kill you. <laughs> seagulls are OP in this game. You go and like steal an egg from a seagull and then you like go from 100% health to zero in like two minutes. Death by seagulls. It's, it's absurd, but it's what it is. Yeah, these are what I was looking for. Well, okay. Um, no, I didn't want to grab this. I just want to to see what's in it oh yes bunch of stuff i'm gonna like drag in whatever i think oh how much i've already got 10 out of 10 weight here well okay yeah i'm not gonna be able to carry anything much more here wait ah uh, that's it it's all these rocks uh, you know what i think i might just go and drop these rocks because they are pretty heavy i was like i think yeah gonna have to drop the sticks now I'll spend all this time making these sticks and now i'm just gonna drop them so that I can pick up these things. An oil lantern. No, I'll take it. That raw bread. Yeah, some of these things weigh a lot. The bandage. The bandage is definitely something I want to take with me, though. Silver goblet. Oh, it's 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 silver. Is it real silver? It's silver. Okay. Bottle of whoa, bottle of water. Bottle of oil. Yeah, these things all weigh so much. What's going on here? Well, to be fair, I don't really need all these rocks right now. I would rather go and drop the rocks. You know, they don't have that much weight. It'll be have what's going on? Volume 1.5? 1.5? Oh, 8.7. God, these things way too much. Candles. Nine point. <laughs> all right. All right. Let, let's just try to squeeze all this in here somehow. And drop one more coconut. The, the metal tanker, like, I, I like to just pick these things up because they are kind of collectibles. And just, I, I like that. I like the fact that you can, like, collect things in this game. Okay. And small crate. And this is our thing. It's just water, isn't it? Yeah, small bottle of water. Let's drink that. Oh, that's a lot of water in there, isn't it? Thirst 5, 16.1, 15.1. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of water in those barrels. 
That's for sure. Oh, I'm gonna go and pick this, just pick this up so it's at the top here and will actually be seen at high tide if I ever do decide to come back. But uh, I probably won't. And look, it's not that hard to go and find um, things that you need to survive. So, uh, yes. Let me go on. Yeah, I don't. I don't even need to drink. That's right. I'm just. Not, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Here. I'm gonna grab my just the canoe and start paddling to the other island in search of greener pastures. And the question is, which is the greenest pasture to go for? I kind of am liking the look of that island right over there. I think that's what I'll go for. So let's go on. Get on. Oh, the canoe log. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do I have to? Can I drag this? Enter. Too shallow water. Yeah. No kidding. Okay. Uh. Leaf. Okay. All right. I cannot drag with the paddle equipped. It is annoying. All right. But this is what it is. Let's do it. This should be deep enough. I mean, it's a it's a canoe, not a freight ship. So let's let's do this. Enter. Oh yes, we can. Oh, what? What? What is this tilt? What's going on? Oh, this is this con. Oh, this is disconcerting. I don't think this was a thing before, but okay. Well, let's just keep paddling. Oh, this is scary. And then once we get to the other island, I think we're going to start building ourselves a nice little shelter, build a nice hut, and yeah, start start ourselves a little life there in an island that's just a little bigger and hopefully more abundant than the one that we stranded on initially. So let's see how it works out. I think until then, I'm just going to fast forward this because actually going and paddling from one island to another in a canoe takes bloody ages. All right, it's about 15 real life minutes later of uh, putting a heavy weight onto the W button while going and making myself a cup of coffee and checking my email and uh, doing a couple of phone calls. Uh, thank you so much, developer, for bringing in this exciting gameplay element of canoeing from one island to the next. It's uh, it's just adding so much value. I, I love it. Thank you. Uh, and, you know, it gives me time to do other things in my life while just, yeah, putting a heavy object onto my W key. Now we've landed here and many in-game hours have passed, like half a day or so. It's night time and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to make myself a bed here or something like that. I probably should build myself a bed in some sheltered place, I guess. I think it's just going to take a couple of palm fronts. Uh, what, where is it? Bed, tools, equipment, boats, recipes, build. Just need a bed. How do you build a bed again? Ah, uh, figure this out. I think it was just called a simple bed. Ah, uh, there it is. A primitive bed. Or primitive banana front bed. Well, there's just no point in going. Either of these, so I'll just might as well go straight for a simple front bed. So use the same amount of palm fronds and it's a lot better bed than this primitive bed. And it's a lot easier to find and it can be transported around. Whereas the simple front bed just can't even be moved. So this will be useful that I'll be able to move that later. So let's go and uh, chop some things down and get this built. The ficus, that should give us some sticks. Small stick, that's one. And then I need two long sticks. That's long. one long stick. Just need one more. Come on, you can do this. Oleander. Don't eat the oleander. Very poisonous, just in case you didn't know. All right, we got this. Now I need just two more palm fronds. Lob down one of these big palm trees. Ah, oh, yes, tiredness. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Yes, tiredness is a real thing, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that until I actually get to make my bed and then I'll maybe have a sleep. Or maybe not. I don't know. Palm front. Palm front. Yes. Bring it. It's one palm front. Darkness is a real thing in this game. It will make it difficult for you to find things when you are human and relying on vision as your primary sense. At least that is pretty well simulated in this game. I, I, I shouldn't be knocking this game. This is actually a, a pretty solid work already for a single person developer. I mean, there are a lot of things that go into programming, coding, something like this. And, uh, you know, uh, props to him for, you know, trying to make this happen. I'm going to put this into my bag. And uh, he's been working at it relentlessly for a couple of years now two or three years i think and he keeps frequently putting up new updates 
uh, changing a lot of things and he listens to user requests. Uh, when people ask for certain things to be done, he listens and, uh, you know, he's he's doing what a, what a good developer should. So, you know, uh, props to him for doing what he's doing. I know this is a, a big challenge to do, uh, even in Unity. <laughs> it's not, not as challenging to program in Unity as it is in the Unreal Engine. And there are some limitations, but Unity is getting pretty good now. And uh, it used to be that Unity used to be way behind. Where's this bit now? Anyway, it used to be that Unity engine used to be way behind the Unreal engine in terms of a graphics capability and all that. But that is really no longer the case. And Unity is really catching up in that regard, while at the same time still maintaining its uh, trademark user friendliness. And uh, it's a good engine. And it's, I mean, look at the Long Dark. That's a that's an amazing game. And it was entirely uh, developed in Unity. So yeah, great games. Great things can be done in Unity. But yeah, I think I'm going to go and... Uh, call this an episode at this point because we are about ready to sleep here what is our tightness level we are only at 81 yeah that means we can still definitely go and uh, chop down some trees and stuff but uh i will call this an episode anyway and i will go and see you in the next one where we will continue chopping down more trees and then we will start building ourselves a nice little shelter a nice little hut with all kinds of things as you can see here there are various things that you can build uh, there are all these different palm roofs with different parameters and terms of your wind, sun and uh, rain protection and uh, new roof parts have just been added in the new update that has come in yesterday. So I'm quite excited to start building as soon as we get our night's sleep and daytime comes around again and we can do all that. But uh, for the time being, it's just down to going and getting some sleep. If I can go and <laughs> find my bed here. I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to find my bed. It's so dark. I should have I should have put it, like, right on the beach or something where you can see things. Oh, my lord. Uh, th there it is. All right. Cool. Well, then we'll see what happens. Are you curious to find out? Find out in the next episode by hitting subscribe and the notification bell. If you like this, please leave a like and comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.